Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about my current morning skincare routine. I uploaded my PM skincare routine, gosh, maybe a couple months ago, and I had a lot of requests to do this video. I meant to get to it sooner, but here we are. <laughs> so my morning and my nighttime skincare routine are quite a bit different. There are a few products that I use at night that I don't use in the morning and vice versa. At night, if you think about it, you're removing all your makeup and impurities and dirt and oil from the day. In morning, you're kind of working with a different canvas. You don't have makeup on typically, so your skin is in a different state than it is at night. So my products switch up a bit. There are certain products that I use that have ingredients that are better suited for an evening routine. Uh, so I wanna share with you what my morning routine looks like. Before we get into the video, I do wanna mention that this video is in partnership with Nyon Beauty. Nyon Beauty reached out and asked if I would be interested in trying their facial cleansing device, the Opus Lux. Here it is, isn't she pretty? <laughs> it was an easy yes for me. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I've been using a device similar to this, the Foreo, for a couple years and I've really enjoyed it. Um, I love cleansing my skin with a device like this over my hands. You just get a better cleanse, it feels good. You really enjoy the process of cleansing your skin. When I did more research on this particular product, I was really excited to try it. So before even trying it, one thing that I really appreciated about this is that it has a handle. My Foreo does not have a handle, so I kind of like that. I also like the design of it. I think it's very beautiful, very luxe. I love this like pink metallic kind of rose gold base. It also has a charging base that it sits in, uh, which my Foreo does not, so it's kind of nice and really pretty as it sits on your countertop like so. I just think it's a really beautiful, beautiful product. Um, so we're about to get into my routine, but I do want to mention that my morning typically starts with a workout. I usually get on my Peloton bike and I ride for 20 or 30 minutes. I get off the bike and I'm drenched in sweat. So even though I don't have makeup on in the morning, by the time I'm getting ready to cleanse my skin and apply makeup, I've got a lot of sweat um, and I feel dirty. I definitely want to cleanse that and get that off. Days that I don't work out, I might just splash some cold water on my face, but the mornings that I exercise and am drenched in sweat, I go through a pretty good cleansing process. So I like to get my skin really clean after an exercise. So when I do that, I use a cleanser like this Kate Somerville uh, Foaming Exfoliating Cleanser, and I've been using it with the Opus Lux. Now what I love about using the Opus Lux versus like my fingers, is this is really gonna help get those impurities out of the skin, really cleanse the skin, give you a much deeper cleanse than you would get from just using your fingers. This does assist with anti-aging because it does cleanse the skin so well and really get out that dirt and impurities, help remove that from the skin. All of those things, if left in the skin, can definitely accelerate the aging process. So, so getting a really deep cleanse is definitely assisting with anti-aging. That's why we should be re removing our makeup every single night. I know in my 20s I used to sleep in my makeup, and gosh, I wish I knew then what I know now. So the Opus Lux has a antibacterial silicone surface. It releases negative ions. It has a three-speed kinetic cleansing vibration that helps remove dirt and impurities. It does have an audible beep to notify you to switch sides on the face. I believe that they recommend doing this for three minutes on the skin to really cleanse the skin and get a good deep cleanse. On one side, it has this surface, which is good for like massaging the face. Um, it has these these really soft little tiny silicone surface and then it has um, an area here that's got slightly larger so you, can, so you can adjust depending on what area of the face that you're treating. It also has a three speed pulsating massage and it lasts for months off of just one charge. So after I've cleansed my skin, I'll go in with my eye cream. So currently I'm using the Colleen Rothschild eye cream. I really love this eye cream, you guys. I love it because it's great for day and night. It's rich and emollient enough to where I feel like it really hydrates the under eye area at night when I tend to like to use heavier products. Yet, it also absorbs into the skin quickly enough to where I can put uh, makeup on shortly after and it doesn't make my makeup move around. It's not too heavy for morning. I really enjoy this eye cream. Um, I did receive the new May Love eye cream, which I'm going to be starting to test soon, so, so I will report back on that um, in the coming weeks or months for sure. So after I've cleansed my skin, I will go in with my May Love Glow Maker. You guys, this product is probably my favorite skincare product of 2018. I mean, I'm not saying that lightly. Like, this product made a noticeable improvement in my skin. Um, I started using it earlier in the year. When I ran out of it, I went like two months without having it. And I kid you not, I noticed a difference in my skin when I got off of it. I noticed that my skin wasn't as bright. It wasn't as glowy. Um, this product works, you guys. So I apply this every single morning. It is fantastic. I highly recommend it. For eye cream, I go in with my moisturizer, and typically I like to use a lighter weight moisturizer for daytime. 
I really like the Colleen Rothschild Sheer Renewal Moisturizer. It's very lightweight. It absorbs quickly. It almost dries to like a powder-like finish. Um, it doesn't leave the skin feeling sticky or tacky at all for very long. Um, but lately, my skin has been a little bit drier, so I've kind of been switching to a more emollient uh, day cream. Some that I really like are the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whip. I also like the It Cosmetics uh, Confidence in a Cream. That's a really nice, rich moisturizer. If you're looking for drugstore, I still really enjoy the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair uh, Daytime Moisturizer. If your skin's a bit oily, I do think it's a little bit heavy for oilier skin, but if you're like me and you're starving for hydration and moisture right now, that's a good one to try too. And then last, I go in with my SPF. Currently, I'm using the Colleen Rothschild SPF of 25. I do like this one. It's very lightweight. It definitely leaves a white cast. You have to kind of really rub it in to work with it. But once you do, it disappears, and it's fine to put makeup on top of it. I also like the Color Science SPF of 50. That's a really nice one. That one actually has a slight like skin tone tint to it, so it doesn't quite leave that white cast. It does still brighten the skin, though, but that's a really nice one as well. So that's my current morning skincare routine. As you can see, I switch things up over the months. I try and stick to the same routine for at least a few months. I might integrate some products, and there are products that I love that I'll kind of switch out and rotate, depending on how my skin is doing at the moment. But currently, these are the products that I'm using. Again, it kind of changes depending on, did I work out in the morning? What's the weather like today? What's my skin like today? How does my skin look? How does it feel? But currently, this is what I'm doing. So I do want to thank Nyon Beauty for partnering with me on this video, but even more so for introducing me to the Opus Lux. They do currently have a 20% off sale site-wide that runs from December 20th through the 25th. I'm not sure when this video goes up, but it'll go up either just before the promotion starts or right after the promotion starts. So be sure and check that out. I will have links down below and more information for you. They also have a smaller version of this. It's called the Opus Express if you want to check that one out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me all your comments, questions, requests, suggestions, all of that in the comment section below. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.